Hello and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today we're going to look at how to update your central station tree. The uh, easiest way to uh, update your central station tree is to actually uh, connect it to the internet. So um, here I have my uh, central station tree and I got a network router. So I'm not going to go through how to set up a network router and how to uh, connect it uh, to the internet. Um, I assume you can figure that out by yourself, otherwise uh, go and ask somebody who really knows about it, because this can be complex, right? But what is important is that you have a router um, that has some free ports on the back. So you see here, there's several ports. Uh, the first port here where a cable goes into, that's actually the internet coming in. And here's some free ports. It's got some antennas for the Wi-Fi. We don't really care about that because the central station tree cannot do Wi-Fi. So we need to uh, connect to these ports here, uh, and you need to have a router that has some free ports. Um, if we look on the back of the central station tree, you can see here, here we got uh, all the connectors, we got the power over here, we got the track as well. And as you can see, there's a similar connector here for the internet, um, which is actually, or for the network. Uh, and the internet, which is what this symbol up here indicates. So, in order to uh, connect it to the internet, you basically just need a network cable that has the standard plugs. They are actually called RJ45, so Romeo Juliet 45 plugs. You can go and search for them on Amazon or eBay or something like that and find a cable. You see I have a relatively short cable here. My central station is off. While it's off, you can connect it so to one of the free ports on the network router. And then the other end goes into the central station tree. So I have the port here. And make sure actually that the uh, connector connects right. You see there's kind of a little handle here on the top. Oops. Now that's the top, there's a little handle here. If you look at the uh, port, uh, it extends a little down here. So that little handle, you need to turn it around. So you connect it in the port here. And this is also the way you get it out again by uh, pulling this little handle. So now we got it all connected. So now we can start up the uh, central station tree. So I'm turning it on now. And we wait till the uh, central station is started up. Have to be patient. We are getting there. All right, my central station is started up. Now uh, let's zoom into the screen. So here we have the screen of the central station. Uh, in order to um, see if we were successful, we go to the uh, system icon. And then uh, we go in the set settings section, we go to system. Um, remember, if it just popped up here, um, so you might have the case where you just click system and it comes in here. You can either scroll down or you can go back here and then click on system as well. Uh, we scroll down. There's one here called settings ethernet. I think in some versions it's called settings uh, network. But you can see this is the same icon as where we plugged in the network. We open this one here. Um, what is important actually uh, before you uh, actually start it up is that you haven't touched any of the settings in here. This one here, IP address assignment, needs to be on auto. So if you are uh, here and it's actually not in auto but in manually, then put it in auto, then turn off your central station and start it up again. Uh, when it starts up again and you go in here, you should see 
an IP address. So in this case, you can see there's a nice IP address for me here. Uh, the IP network template is filled out, the IP gateway is filled out, and the DNS server uh, is filled out. So when all of these fields are filled out, while this uh, address assignment is on auto, then you would actually have uh, connected the central station to your router. And if your router is connected to the internet, then we have uh, the central station connected to the uh, internet now. Um, the other setting that can be interesting in here is we go in the section where it says settings, uh, central station tree. If we open this one here, uh, you can see it will actually say auto update check. So if this one here it has a little check mark, it will actually automatically check for updates and it will alert uh, you if there are any updates. In essence, you will see it here in the top bar up here, a little red dot uh, will appear. So here I have the screen of my central station tree. And uh, what you will notice is if you go up here in the upper left hand corner, there's a dot here, a, a red dot, and it actually says one. That's to indicate there's actually one update available. So we can click on the system here. When you uh, click on this one, you will uh, enter the settings and assistant page. Uh, by the way, uh, you might be in some settings. So if I click on track here, for example, uh, and I close the window. Now, if you click on the system here again, you'll see it will go directly into the system settings. Then you may have to go back. All right, so here is the system settings. Um, what I can do is I can uh, check out what is the current version of my uh, central station tree. So I'm just going to click the uh, system here. Um, and we can scroll down. Uh, when we scroll down, there's an info tab here. I click on the info tab. You can see here, this is a central station tree plus I have. You can see what hardware version it is, and you can see the current software version is 2.2.0 uh, slash 5. So that's the current software version. Um, and here at the top of the scrolling panel, you can see what updates there are. Right now, there's an update to the central station itself. So I can click on this one. Um, and here I have the information about uh, my central station. And when there's a red dot here, this uh, little icon over here uh, highlights, uh, and that's actually my update button. So let's try and uh, hit the update button. It says there's a new uh, package is available. Do you want to perform the update? Yes, certainly. That's uh, why I'm here. So I'm going to click OK. Um, and here is the updater that's starting. So the first thing it's doing is uh, looking for what software updates it can pull down. And you can see there's some status information here to the right. And over here to the left, you can see all the updates it would like to do. And as you can see, there's lots of individual updates here from some kind of cleanup, system update, web server update, and so on. It looks like there's going to be some updates to the uh, locomotive icons as well. Uh, basically, the only thing I need to do is go here in the loft, uh, sorry, the uh, top right hand corner and hit the start button. So we do that. And you can see here to the right, now it's starting to uh, scroll down and saying something is happening. Uh, for the most part, uh, don't worry about what it says. It's also in German, so the chances of you knowing it, uh, what it says is, is not high, I guess. Um, and at the bottom down here, you can see the progress of the updates. Uh, and the idea is we wait patiently till it reaches all the way to the end. Yeah, unfortunately, um, while doing the update, I lost the contact to the central station, which I guess is natural because the software I was using to remote in. 
um, uh, was being updated as well. So um, I'm sorry for the unsteady uh, camera here because I'm holding the camera over the uh, sensor station so you can see what's going on. But in essence, it uh, completed the entire update. And the only thing now is we had to hit OK. All right, so I'm going to hit the OK button to uh, finalize the um, update. And you can see it automatically reboots. All right, and now we have a, a new version of the software installed. Okay, here we have the uh, central station uh, started after the update. And the first thing it's asking us for is the language. Uh, fortunately, it's already on English. Um, and this is what I want to uh, run my central station tree in. So I'm happy. Otherwise, you can click on any other language on here if you desire. But I like English. You click the little arrow. And now we see uh, the central station, uh, pretty much it looks at before, but now there's new software. Uh, how uh, can we actually verify that that's the case? Well, we can go back into the system menu and uh, we can click on the system again. We can scroll down till we find the information panel. And here now we see software version 2.3.1-8. So our software has been updated. Excellent. Uh, as the final note, um, you can also update the uh, central station without being connected to the internet. So what you saw me do here is actually I'm connected or my central station is connected to uh, my uh, home network and the red dot would automatically appear saying, hey, there's an update. You can also go to the... Uh, uh, Macklin website and download the update, uh, put it on a USB stick, and then uh, update the central st station tree by putting the USB stick uh, in the central station. Um, I might show that in another video. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you uh, really enjoy this channel and the information here, consider uh, subscribing and clicking on the little bell icon so you'll know when there's uh, new updates. Enjoy and have fun!